Pizza is a big deal for me. I love a good pie. Nashville locals have highly recommended this place behind me. I'm with a Nashville local right now. What do you think of this spot? It's honestly, it's my go-to pizza in town. Okay, so let's go see how fire this pizza really is here in Nashville. Come on. How's the pizza here, guys? It's good? All right, good to know. First thoughts in here, it seems like a cool open spot. We're in East Nashville right now, which is more of like the hipster type vibe style here. And I can see it with the paintings. It looks like a cool open bar. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but the reviews online, it's got literally 4,000, almost five star reviews on Google, 1,500 on Yelp. That's saying something to me. So let's check out this menu. Do you have any drinks like here besides water or any questions? Yeah, can I get the bearded iris? Uh, what's a great blonde that you have, besides yourself, of course? <laughs> we, only, <laughs> we only have the Zong's blonde right now. It's really one off. Is that one good? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't seem very confident. Yeah, I don't drink a lot of beer. Uh, videotaping. Oh, he's videotaping. Oh, he's videotaping me. Oh, okay. I'm camera shy. Oh, don't be. You should be a model. You're not, you're not on camera. Okay. Come say hi. Come on. Come say you hi. You gotta break the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I'll do that one. Sure. But we're also ready to order. We want to do a 14 inch, a half and half pie. So we want to get the uh, South Brooklyn for half, and then the other half, we want to do this habanero cream sauce pie. Yeah. Is that one good? Yeah. Is it, good. Is it really spicy. spicy though? It's pretty spicy. That's what I want. But not like crazy. Okay. We can have the sauce on the side. No, no, I want it on. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it's on, it's on there. All right, perfect. Rizzler hits Nash. I think she wants me, I'm not gonna lie. What did uh, you think? I, I think so. I mean, like, I'm, she, she got a little camera shy, which is understandable, you know? They're not used to the Taylor boys walking in with a camera full force at people's face, but we still making it happen, you know? Yeah. I think she wanted you. She was nervous about me. Yeah, she saw that handsome, strong guy next to me, and she was like, oh, f I don't know. <laughs> My man, you already know we are beer tasters. What did you get in front of you? I got the bearded iris. Give it a little taste. With a straw? Okay. Hoppy, hazy, feels like a summer vibe. Just how you like it. Cheers. I just got whatever the cute girl behind the bar recommended, and I'm gonna go like my big brother, get my straw out. He likes the straw. Mine tastes like a real faint light beer. Like it's real faint. It's almost like water. It's almost like a I, Bud Light. It's almost like a Bud Light. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's almost like a Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's canceled. laughs> I don't think that's cancelable. No. Listen, we're out here, we're foodies, we're food reviewers. You know, my audience is really cool as hell, so we're not 12 year old blue haired people behind a keyboard trying to cancel people. So cheers to y'all. This beer is for y'all. It's Memorial Day today. I think Jake and I should have a good old chug off. What do you think? No, I can't right now. Come on. We'll have a check off later, after the video. But the people want to see. <laughs> oh, okay, no, maybe no check off. So we're gonna start with the habanero side. I wanna see what the hold is. Let's see the stiffness test. Okay, you know, it's floppy, but listen, all good things come with a flop, ain't that right, Jake? Mine starts with the flop, but it definitely gets a little harder. We're in the flop era anyway, so. How many races do you guys want? Uh, you want how, one? How many can you Three. hold? Three? <laughs> Oh, of course. She's such a sweetheart. Oh, I love Nashville women. Okay, so we're gonna go for this habanero cream. There's always something interesting about when they combine habanero with anything because it's just turning the spice level up in our mouth. So let's just go for it, Jake. My man. Oh. Burn my lips. Solid pull of the cheesiness. Mm. It's like an undertone habanero. A nice heat up in your mm. mouth, but nothing too crazy. Nothing that would deter us Thank away. You. Thank you. Do you want to sit down and have a slice less? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm going to play it out like Dave Portnoy. I had one bite, but I'm going to go for it. Second. Yeah, bro. Dave Portnoy rated this place a 7.5, so let's remember that and let's rate it ourselves, okay? So I'm going to go. He calls it the one bite, but he's really eating the whole freaking slice, so. It's a solid pizza. Really I will say the undercarriage of it is a little rough on my end. Like, I usually like a little bit doughier type of crust. This is like it's hockey like, puck style. Yeah, a little bit more crusty. I'm not gonna lie though, I do like a little bit of a crunch with my pizza. It is a nice little complimentary to the soft dough of the top and the cheesiness. Mm. It kind of all goes together in your mouth. I have to rate this habanero one specifically. I'm gonna have to kind of agree with Portnoy or a little bit less, maybe like a 7-4. Yeah. I, I think it's a solid pizza, something I would come back to, but it's not the best thing I've ever tried in my life. No, that was me. Wait a minute. All right, listen, Jake, you do this again, I'm gonna file a charge. 
Sorry. So we're with the Nashville local now. This was the side that he wanted. This is the, which one is this? The this South is, Brooklyn. We got the South Brooklyn. I can definitely tell you it's a lot more floppy than the habanero cream. Look how cheesy that is. That's interesting. Let's go for it. Good. That is really a good pizza, I'm not gonna lie, That's right good. there. I think that one's almost a little bit better than the habanero one. I like a little something extra on topping, but when it comes here, I love their cheese. Right, I've never been a guy who orders just cheese pizza. This cheese pizza in particular, it's got a real good flavor to it. The way that they season the pizza and the marinara underneath, it's got some real good flavors coming out, that it's not just a cheesy mess. It's a little kick to it. But really, it does. It I was almost thinking, was that the habanero <laughs> cream, or no, is that no. this one? This is the first slice I've had, and it's got a little bit of a it's kick to it It's definitely sure. got a little spice level to it. So this place is interesting. I'm gonna rate this one right here. I'll give this one a 7-7. Seven, seven. I like that. I like seven, this one. Seven, this good. one's a little bit better than the other one. Honestly, I like this one. This is good. You that's wanna give it to go, to Jake? Me. Definitely a lot more floppy though. A little flop. That one's good. That, that one's, one's almost like, I don't know, it feels like a cheese soup that they laid on top of so it. It's so good. It's so creamy, it's so good. No ranch needed, no chili flakes needed, no parmesan needed, nothing needed. I can eat that all day long. Oh, rate it. Yeah. 7-7. Seven, seven. I agree. Fully. All right. Y'all heard it. We'll check back when the bill comes. You think asking if the Instagram is good? Go for it. Do you hear how he talks to his boss? <laughs> you tell him that. <laughs> You're my employee. You're my worker servant. Would you ever talk to your boss like that? I do. That's what's wrong with this generation. That's why Gen Z is better than you guys. That's probably why I get promoted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pretend like I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And quick question, if you do appear in the video, do you want me to blur you or are you okay being oh, in? Oh, don't worry about it. Okay, that. cool. And then our last thing I want to know is, what's your Instagram? I can write it down for you. Yeah, you please. Yeah. I would, it's for my personal self, not for the video. Okay, I have a boyfriend though. Oh, f it, never mind. Keep, keep the Instagram. Thank you though. <laughs> keep the Instagram. <laughs> hey, sometimes we strike out, but we try every time. At least the pizza was good, right? At least the pizza was good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that, Jake? Oh, that's hilarious, that is hilarious, man. That's hilarious. What's the total? Oh, sorry, I'm still laughing at this moment. Um, right, here's. Oh, whoa, something got. What the? That is very cheap. This is the cheapest pizza. She only charged you for a third. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, she didn't she put them all together. She split it. it just tell her one check. All right. So this is the total. <laughs> just times three. <laughs> thirty bucks. So thirty bucks. Listen, y'all. I just want to give the boys a quick lesson out there because I know you guys look at me as the Riz Lord and the Rizzler and the Riz Wizard. You know, the Rizzard. I get it. Listen, and I want to tell you guys. Sometimes we're gonna strike out. It's normal. Don't be afraid of striking out because you miss every ball you don't strike at. You know what I mean? We're not trying to catch balls here. We're trying to strike. You know? All right, you guys, so there you have it. Some pizza in Nashville. Honestly, not bad at all. I definitely want to keep that 7.7 .7 rating. We're going to try a couple more of the highly rated spots here in Nashville and let you guys know what we think of it. Until next time, I love you, and I'll see you later. Peace. I'm so exhausted. I'm always nauseous. Praying that I'll stop.